We're in for a chilly night, but clouds are keeping us above freezing again. We're dropping down to about 40 degrees. Cloudy skies stick around and we'll be tracking some patchy fog by the morning. By afternoon, though, it's a bit warmer than where we landed today. As we get into the lower 50s tomorrow, most of our day is going to be dry, but I'm tracking low pressure off to our south. That's going to start bringing in some more moisture by tomorrow night and a lift across the area, bringing us rain through much of Thursday morning as well. Here's what our future track looks like starting tomorrow, 8 o'clock. So as you're heading out the door, possibly possibly running into some patchy fog. We're in the 40s, but we warm up into the 50s in the afternoon. We're still dry for the evening commute. Once we get past sunset, though, showers start to move in from the south and become more widespread overnight, looking at widespread rain getting into most of Thursday morning. So that could slow you down. Not expecting any wintry weather and drier air starts to move in by Thursday afternoon. We still manage to get up to the low 50s. That rain will become a lot less widespread. Some spotty showers possible on Thursday night, but Friday we should be dry and I'm expecting that dry trend to continue into much of the weekend. Maybe a spot shower or two on Sunday, but it will be a little cooler behind that system in the upper 40s. Now as we get to next week, we'll be adding to our rain total. We could see more rain and a few thunderstorms moving in between Monday and Tuesday. That could add our rain total to around one to two inches over the next seven days. With this round that's coming through tomorrow night into Thursday, count on about a half an inch to an inch of rain. Now getting past the weekend, we start to warm up a little bit. Temperatures will be getting into the 50s and we'll see that next chance of showers and storms returning on Monday.